Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here at Tamarack today with the uh, Tamarack Ranger Kelly Blackledge and Tamarack volunteer Dennis Munderman. And we are going to talk about the uh, live beaver cam that they have going on here. And Kelly, why don't you uh, give us a little background on this? That's right. Well, this it's always cool to see inside a beaver lodge or inside a nesting area, things that you can't see just um, watching for wildlife on the refuge. So this is a sneak peek inside what happens inside that lodge. We see them all over the place, but you've probably wondered what's going on in there. Um, so this is a neat chance for us to put a camera inside a lodge to be able to see what's going on. Um, and there's been some research uh, of the behavior of beavers, but this is really a chance for folks to um, to get a first-hand view. So um, we worked with uh, partners. We have a lot of volunteers involved in this project and also some funding through a Nature of Learning grant from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation uh, to make this happen. Right. All right. And I know that you have uh, some of it, some clips showing here at Tamarack Refuge. And I was just watching before we were filming this. And it's, it is mesmerizing to look at the beaver. And it's just amazing how almost human-like they are. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the behavior is, is fascinating. And it's almost addictive to be in front of that TV screen and watch what's happening inside that lodge. So, yes, it is. Yes, it feels almost, I feel a little guilty almost watching it. It's the secret <laughs> life of a beaver. That's right. Well, there's a lot of sleeping that goes on in there that we've seen so far but they also are certainly um, feeding and cleaning um, their fur and things like that so there's a lot of activity going on and um, and it's it's pretty neat and also it's year-round this is not something that we just watch you know certain seasons but that's one of the reasons we chose to put our wildlife camera inside a beaver lodge instead of at a nesting site to start out with just because um, we'll be able to see this activity all winter long there's stuff going on all the time Okay. All right. So is it just one beaver that is in the lodge? Or I've, I saw there were a couple. And do they, like, share the lodge? And are you learning a lot about beavers? Yeah, we're not sure how many are using this lodge. And maybe there are some other animals, like muskrats and things, that may be using the lodge, too. So we're we're learning as we, as we watch. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelly Blackledge from Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge here on uh, Hometown Happenings today. And uh, also, I've got Dennis Mutterman, who... Uh, you, Dennis, now, how is you, what is your involvement in this? Of course, you're a volunteer. Why don't well, you come I'm on a, in? I'm a volunteer, and I'm, I also uh, wrote and managed the grant for the Nature Learning. And, um, and I had the fun of, of trying to figure out how to put the thing in. And... Um, it's it's not been done a whole lot. Uh, this is actually only the Beaver Lodge uh, camera among any of the refuges, and so it was a little tricky. Uh, we had to drill a hole through the the lodge and hope that the beavers didn't come out and you know complain at us, but they didn't. And uh, we uh, <clears throat> we've had to do a little bit of adjustment this week, and we actually have the the camera assembly, which is sort of simple. We have this that goes through the. Um, you know, in our hole, and the camera itself is just a very small, watertight two by two inch camera. And the lodge that we selected was one that's right out by the uh, pond near the visitor center. And so we, it was close enough to just run a cable to. And it was very, kind of, that part was simple. <laughs> Dennis Munderman is a volunteer at Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge, and he is with the Tamarack Interpretive Association. And he's uh, filling us in on how they got the beaver cam in the lodge uh, that is playing. They've got a video of it playing here at the Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge uh, Visitor Center. And we are going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and hear about uh, some of the other uh, things that uh, were involved in this uh, lodge and the beaver cam here at Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge for Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with Dennis Munderman, and he is with the Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge Tamarack Interpretive Association. And he is a volunteer, and he is uh, the one in charge of uh, putting the uh, the cam in the, into the beaver lodge. And uh, Dennis, what were some of the uh, what's what was the process of doing this? You explained a little bit uh, in the first half, but uh, why don't you do like a step by step of how you went about it? Well, uh, there was a lot to figure out because, like I said. Um, uh, it hadn't been done before, so we had to figure out the best way to put the camera in and in such a way that we could take it out and clean the lens yeah. because we, didn't, we weren't too sure if the beavers were going to throw mud in the camera or anything. And, uh, and then what made it hard was the lodge isn't right at the shoreline. It was out a ways and through uh, vegetative mats and things, so it was sort of hard to get out there. And even though uh, we, we could run a cable the whole way, 
part of the way was pretty easy, but then we have to run the cable over the water. And so we had we were out there in the canoe and putting in stakes and and running uh, conduit out. And then the whole process of putting the putting the uh, camera in was uh, a little little tricky. In fact, part of the reason I have it here is we made the tube too long and had to bring it a little shorter. But it was really interesting. The uh, uh, the first uh, we also the system goes into the building and to a DVR that records um, all the footage. And uh, for example, the first uh, evening. Uh, there, there, I saw some uh, footage of the beaver coming up and sort of checking the camera and, you know, putting their nose in the camera and stuff, and at no point did it try to chew on it or stuff. And uh, and, and as, as Kelly said earlier, uh, it's just been fascinating to watch. Uh, I never knew that every time beavers come up, they seem to, like, rub their face and uh, and they the way that they eat, like a leaf, is like chomping on a... a cob of corn or something so it's just been very fascinating and it, yeah just watching those videos that's a great thing uh, for this uh th this refuge uh to have this here and again you have many partnerships to do this yes uh it's, yeah especially with the funding agency and then the friends group and it really been a, a combined uh, project um we will be putting some video clips on our friends website and we're hoping that in the uh next year that we can have streaming up on the uh, you know up on the web on our, our website uh, besides the one camera in the lodge we also have a second camera that will overlook look the pond so okay. check what's going on <laughs> right so play-by-play -play action yeah, here at the about. beaver lodge <laughs> all right and uh, why don't you give us that website uh, where people would be able to go and see this? okay it's uh, www.tamrackfriends.org all right, and that, again, that should be up in the next few months. Yeah, there's one little clip now, and I'll put some additional ones. And as we figure out our DVR, we'll get, you know, more and better uh, clips up. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a hit. Oh, I think so. Uh, I have a, a great picture of a bunch of uh, kindergartners sitting in front of the TV, looking at the, you know, the beaver activity. So. <laughs> I think I would rather have them watching the beaver in action than some other things. Oh yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All, right. All right, Dennis Mutterman here at the Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge. And if you want to come out and check this out, they've got it playing here at the visitor center uh, out at the T uh, Tamarack Refuge. And you know, the visitor center is open, I believe, is it Sunday through a Saturday? Well, no longer weekends. Over longer weekends winter but uh, Monday through Friday from I uh, think 8 till 4. All right and uh, it's a great uh, place to hang out and uh, check out what's going on in the wildlife in the wild it's always a wild time at Tamarack and with that uh, with Dennis Mutterman from Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge I'm Carol McCarthy on Hometown Happenings for TV3.